Hi everyone, welcome to Reading Under the Covers where we discuss all things bookish. Today it is just me, Suzanne, doing this episode and I wanted to talk to you about Romanceopoly and more specifically a certain challenge within Romanceopoly which I don't know about you and obviously we wrote these prompts so we've got, I've got no one to blame kind of but myself and the one that I am struggling with is The Office and the challenge is to read a romance set at a, or around a circus. As you can imagine romance books or really that many any other books are can be quite difficult to find that specific but I have done some looking up to see like what I've already read so maybe what I've already read might be able to help you guys out if you haven't read it yet and what I haven't read so I can finally complete this particular challenge in Romanceopoly because I'm going to be honest guys I am a little bit behind there are 39 challenges of which I have completed 11 so I really need to crack the whip and get going and I think my next read is going to be one that will fulfill this circus prompt. So it's going to be like you can be as strict as you want with these where it's specifically set in a circus all throughout the book or maybe just the character is part of the circus and they maybe might leave at the beginning or you know a mixture so however you want to do it so I'm going to first go through the books that I have already read where the circus has been involved in some way and I've picked the books that I've really enjoyed so if you're also struggling with this here are a few like genuine recommendations from me Suzanne who has read these books really like them and really think you should give them a go so the first one is from like an under the covers favorite author like we love all of her books and that's L.H. Cosway and the book is Heart of Fire it's in the middle of her heart series but it is one that can be read standalone you don't need to have read the other ones in the series to know what's happening in Hearts of Fire and basically and I just love this premise Alex Cosway has got such like a great mind her books are always so like quirky but heartfelt so the premise of this one is that the heroine runs off to the circus where she falls in love with do you know the guys that eat the fire he's one of those and whenever I think of him in my mind, it's Jason Momoa, because that's kind of the description you get, like really big, dark hair, bearded tattoos, like he has got big Momoa vibes, and I am all about that, but he's like quiet, and like he's got like a tortured soul, I don't know, I just really love this book. Is it my favourite in the Heart series? I think it is, I think it's weird, because I think there are better books in the series, as in like technically better but this is the one that when I think of the heart series my heart goes all mushy about it. In the series if the next book in the series is called King of Hearts which you could also read for this challenge because it is like circus based. That's an amazing book it's an emotional roller coaster. Again I prefer Hearts of Fire just pure personal preference but I would say King of Hearts oh my gosh just takes some tissues in with you it's such a beautiful story but it's kind of heartbreaking at the same time I wouldn't say you need to read Hearts of Fire before you read King of Hearts but they do share characters in a way that the other books don't quite share characters so those were my LH Cosway recommendations and if to be honest if you haven't read the Heart series by LH Cosway you need to get to it it's such a treat it's such an amazing series the next one is actually one of Francesca's favourites. I have read it and I quite enjoyed it, but I definitely didn't enjoy it quite as much as Francesca. And that is Wicked As They Come by Delilah Dawson, which is the first in the Blood series. And this is like, I'm surprised I don't like this more because it is weird, guys. It's like, a, it's a paranormal romance with a weird kind of villainous and our heroine kind of gets gets drawn into this paranormal circus she's I guess from our normal world and she gets drawn into this weird circus and oh my gosh it's strange but kind of wonderful it's got big Alice in Wonderland kind of feel to it like the everyday spun on its spun on its head so if you're into that which Francesca clearly is then I would recommend giving this a go it's something a bit different and one worth trying 
The next one that I've read, and oh my gosh, I I love the series. It is so good. It's Once Burned by Janine Frost, which is the first in her Night Prince series. If you've been following this podcast, you know for our first series, we did a read-along of the Night Huntress series, of which this, the Night Prince series, is a spin-off of that. But you don't need to have read the Night Huntress series to read the Night Prince series. It, it stands alone. It stands by itself. There are characters. So Vlad, because uh, obviously this is, sorry, I should have said. So Vlad, our hero, is the Vlad of vampire fame, but kind of re- like reimagined, I suppose. But he was in the Night Huntress series. Equally, the characters from the Night Huntress series do pop up in the Night Prince series, but you don't really need to know who they are to understand what's happening. I suppose it might add a bit to the story if you know their background, but really it's kind of immaterial. But yeah, this is a great series. So our heroine is an acrobat in the circus and she has powers and these powers attract Vlad, like I said, Vlad of Dracula fame, but reimagined in this world that Janine Frost has created of vampires and ghouls and everything. So this is this is an amazing urban fantasy slash paranormal romance series. I thought you could read the first book, but it is a book where it, it does have a story that concludes at the end of Once Burned, but it, there is a larger story that goes over the series and it's well worth, well worth reading. It is so good. Really... It's like really action packed. So there's lots of stuff happening, but the romance is pretty intense as well. And Vlad is a really powerful, really charismatic character. But our heroine, she isn't overshadowed by him. She like really holds her own. And with a character as impactful as Vlad is in this series, like that is saying something because he can, it's really easy for him to steal the show. And yet, you still absolutely adore the heroine. It's a really amazing series, which, you know, even if you won't read it for this particular challenge, it's worth, if you like paranormal romances and vampires and ghouls and kind of all that kind of thing, this is, that's definitely, did I mention the heroine was in the circus and that's how it connects to this challenge? If not, that's how it connects to this challenge. It doesn't stay set in the circus, but that's her background. And the next one, and this is another one where it starts off where the heroine is in the circus, but then they quickly leave, is A Promise of Fire by Amanda Boucher, which is the first book in the Kingmaker Chronicles. So the heroine is a soothsayer in um, a circus and very quickly gets, I guess, involved with the hero and then they leave. It's a fantasy romance. So if you're really into your fantasy romance, this is one to try. It's a fantasy romance, like in a set in a different world, but there's a lot based on, I think it's Greek mythology. I'm fairly certain it's Greek mythology has such a big role in this as well. So if you like mythology based fantasies, then this might be one to pick up. It is it's really good. I, I really enjoyed it. It's a trilogy and all the books are out so you can just read it all the way through and enjoy that. But the, the first book, A Promise of Fire, I think was definitely my favourite in the series. But it is, it's really good. It's really well worth reading. And then because a lot of these have been paranormal and will continue to be paranormal, I thought I'd add in one more contemporary romance, which I'm sure if you've looked at all for any circus books, it was probably already shown up. And that is Kiss an Angel by Susan Elizabeth Phillips. This is an oldie, but a goodie. Anything by Susan Elizabeth Phillips is, you know, pretty good anyway. I have read this one and it was really cute. I really enjoyed it. So definitely well worth picking up if what you prefer is contemporary romance than Kiss an Angel or Alex Cosway, which I mentioned at the beginning, those two are for you. Out of those two, I would say I probably prefer the Alex Cosway contemporary romance. But if you're like in the mood for more of a classic, a classic story, and you haven't read Susan Elizabeth Phillips before, this is a, like a nice standalone book to start to start that journey. So now I'm going to get on to the ones that I haven't read. So these are books that I don't know how good they are. I'm afraid, but I when I was looking for a book to read, these are the ones that like cropped up as ones that I want to try. I have got a favourite, 
the one that I think I'm more likely to read than the others. Uh, but there's three of them, and, and these are the ones. So the first one is The Contortionist by Catherine and Catherine Ann Kingsley, which is the first in the Harrow Fair series. It's available on Kindle Unlimited as well. And it's like this urban fantasy, fantasy horror, where like a normal person, a normal woman gets dragged into this mystical circus. And, and from the blurb, it sounds like she gets trapped by like making a bargain with these dark shadowy villainous figures within this mysterious circus. It's crops up in her hometown yes and then I think it's like a a dark romance element into it I'm not a massive lover of the darker romances but this one just sounds so good and I really love the cover of this one it's almost stained glass window style but a contortionist in the window but it it sounds really intriguing I'm intrigued by like this circus that just shows up out of nowhere and that somehow this normal woman gets stuck in there like why has that happened how has that happened why was that they were they after her specifically or was she just the first one they happened to come across are they doing it to more people yeah so I read the blurb and I had all these questions that I wanted answered about this book yeah this is definitely I think this is the one that I'll end up reading because it one it's on Kindle Unlimited so yay and two it just sounds so interesting. It's also not a very long book. It's under 300 pages, which when like you don't have much time, sometimes that can be the deciding factor about what book you pick up. <laughs> the last one, the next one, sorry. According to Goodreads, I have read this book. I read it about 10 years ago. And I recognise the book as in like, I recognise the book and stuff but I have absolutely no memory of reading it. And I don't know, that's probably not a good sign about the book, but it could also be because it's been 10 years, a lot has happened since then. I've definitely slept since then, even though sometimes it doesn't feel like it. So I'm not gonna let that put me off because if I've read it, it means it's somewhere already on my Kindle um, because, you know, I don't really do paper books. It's all, it's all Kindle books. And that, sorry, the book, I haven't even said the name of the book yet. The book is The Last Kiss Goodnight by Gina Showalter um, and it's the first book in her Other World Assassins series. It looks, from reading the blurb, because honestly, no memory at all. I've even wrote a small review of this book and still nothing, absolutely nothing. Yeah, it sounds like a sci-fi slash paranormal romance. So we have like this alien and he's like black ops in whichever society he happens to be part of but he's captured and he wakes up in a cage in a circus as like an animal attraction and then he is taken care of by the deaf daughter of the owner of the circus so I mean that premise my god guys that premise is so fucking good I really am shocked that I cannot remember reading this book. But yeah, I definitely need to reread it again because it sounds amazing. And Gina Showalter is a great author. Her Laws of the Underworld was one of the first paranormal romances I ever read. I still remember The Darkest Kiss and I still really love it. So yeah, I definitely need to give it a try. And obviously the circus connection is that he wakes up in a circus as an animal attraction. So yeah, that's that's an interesting, I really, I just really love the premise for this. And it like, it shocks me that I cannot remember a thing since then. Uh, in my defense, I have probably read thousands of books since then, but that's beside the point. So the last one is a bit of a wild card choice when I was looking stuff up, but I really, really wanted to read it. Not least because there is also a film of this book already. So I can also watch the film and do that thing where you compare the film and the book and decide the book is better. And that is Water for Elephants by Sarah Groon. I don't know if I'm saying her last name correctly. It's G-R-U-E-N. So this is more mainstream fiction but from the sounds of it, there's like a big, big old romance in it. It's set during the Depression. Somebody who joins up with the circus and his job is to look after the elephants or the animals and he looks after a particular elephant. And then 
Sounds like he falls in love with the animal handler's, the cruel animal handler's young wife. I think that's the a plot of the story. I'm not sure, but either way, it looks really interesting. And it has a film. It was out in 2011, so it's quite it's quite an old film. And it has quite it has like a great cast. It's got Robert Pattinson um, and Reese Witherspoon and Christoph Waltz in it as like the three main protagonists. And yeah. It looks really good, so I can like read the book, watch the film wherever it may be. I haven't looked for like where it's available and do a comparison. Yeah, so yeah, those are like the three books I haven't read, which I am intrigued by. I think I probably will read the first book, The Contortionist by Catherine Ann Kingsley, like a a horror slash fantasy slash paranormal where everything's really shadowy and interesting and mysterious. It's kind of my mood right now. I really want something mysterious and maybe with a tiny pinch of horror. I know it's not very summery, but that's kind kind of what I'm in the mood for. Yes. So anyway, those are eight books. I hope anyone, if you are struggling with this challenge or just fancy a book set in the circus or around the circus, or has a character who was in the circus, I hope one of these books have intrigued you enough to give them a go. If I have to have one standout book, which I say you must read from all the books that I have spoken about, I'm going to go with Once Burned by Janine Frost, just because Oh, it's just such a great series, like sexy, uh, full of adventure, full of action, like full of emotion with just an absolutely amazing main couple in it. Like it's so good. It's definitely a favourite of mine. And I know that Vlad is one of Francesca's absolute favourite heroes as well. So if I had to do one book out of all these that you absolutely have to read, I think Once Burned by Janine Frost would be it. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. If you want to hear more from us, please subscribe to the podcast. We bring out regular podcasts, but if you want to hear more from us in between, check out the website under the covers bookblog.com where we have loads of bookish things. We've got reviews, we've got lists, we've got series guides, we've got author guides, we've got fantasy cast, we've got like anything you possibly want about romance. You will find it there. And you can also join our community where lots of like-minded bookish people get together and we have a load of exclusive content and podcasts available to you there as well. Anyway, thank you very much for listening to me ramble on about characters in the circus and I will see you in the next episode. Mm